All right, so once again, this is biology. This here is a pedigree, and actually, uh, for a bit, I had some trouble with pedigrees, but I was able to actually figure them out here. Uh, which you can see on the screen is a pedigree. It's a chart that actually has uh, basically people's uh, phenotypes that you can see here, and it's a family tree. And so you're able to make uh, determinations of phenotypes. And, well, you already know what the phenotypes are. You're looking for the genotypes here. And so, you know, you may be asked to basically decipher what actually this is. Now, when you're looking at the pedigree chart, you actually have to check uh, to see this is this can get kind of difficult now usually there are four options autosomal recessive autosomal dominant x-linked recessive and x-linked dominant and so what we can see from this pedigree right here is um, the first generation here the parents right these are the parents of course and anybody that it's linked to directly is uh, an offspring so this circle right here is not offspring the square right here these squares are not offspring those are people who mated with uh, children and so what this means is uh, we got to figure this out. So what you can see is there is not actually uh, any um, of the parents affected. So what you automatically can do in this situation is actually completely cancel out the dominant of either one because it's impossible for uh, affected children to have unaffected uh, parents because if they were having the dominant gene, uh, if this was something that had to do with dominance, uh, they would have to have it. Otherwise, uh, if they're unaffected from a dominant issue, that would imply that they're recessive. How the fuck would you get uh, dominant children from recessive parents? That doesn't make any sense. So you can automatically knock out both X-linked uh, dominant and autosomal uh, dominant. So obviously, if you don't know what X-linked means, X-linked is... Uh, when it is linked to the uh, chromosome, so sex-linked, um, you know, gene here. And so what you can tell in this situation is you can automatically knock those out. Now, you kind of have to figure out here by uh, basically doing some, um, you know, some of the figuring out. You basically have to test these out pretty much what you have to do. So let's, you know, let's start out with X-linked dominant here, or X-linked recessive, sorry. Uh, so if you have X-linked recessive, uh, what you can do here to check uh, is actually, um, if it is true that they are X-linked recessive, right, um, the father would essentially have to be uh, X-A-Y for this situation. And what that means is he would be unaffected. That's what that would mean uh, because he is not shaded in. So that would mean he would have to be dominant, right? Because if it's a recessive issue, he would have to be dominant for it. Now, the same thing would go for the female, of course. Now, it's pretty obvious as to why there would be no recessive affected if it was completely dominant for both sides. So, you know, obviously we're going to do X big A, X little A because um, if it were X big A for the second one, it would literally be impossible. Um, so what you can figure out pretty quickly here is when you do this cross right here, uh, what you can figure out is uh, this is actually impossible. This is actually impossible uh, because what you can see here is there is no uh, possibility for a daughter to be affected. And that's because, as you can see, with both the crosses with daughters, uh, both of them would not be recessive. It's impossible, in fact. So the fact that it's recessive for them, and obviously, as you guys know, the circles are females. You see there's a female daughter right there affected. That automatically means this is impossible, which means that it has to be autosomal recessive. Now, uh, you know, you can do a sort of proof check here, but obviously once you've eliminated all the other options, there's really only one. But if you want to check what you're doing, you know, um, you can kind of figure this out, right? If it's autosomal recessive, uh, what that would mean is, you know, you would have uh, essentially, I mean, it would be obviously impossible for it to be big A, big A, obviously. Um, but you can have big A, little a's and see if that is actually possible. And so here's the cross that you get uh, when you get big A, little a on both sides. And so when you get big A, little a on both sides, um, it is indeed possible for there to be some people who are affected by the recessive issue. 
as can be shown by the little a little a here um, and you can see it's it's you know two out of four there so uh, while it doesn't exactly match up that's typically what's going to happen so obviously this situation is indeed autosomal recessive this is the only option for uh, what it could be so you know it's a a, a disease that only affects uh, you know the autosomes and uh, it is recessive so or specifically specifically an autosome um, now if you figure out okay what's the genotype of 2,4 right which is the circle over here um, this of course is that's 2,4 right there the circle next to the affected uh, sun uh, the circle um, that is not offspring that's somebody marrying one of the offspring so what that tells us right there is uh, we can figure out based on <clears throat> the children we can basically figure out okay what exactly is the genotype um, of the circle and so what we know is it, if this is autosomal recessive which is what we're going based on that would mean that the blacked out square is little a little a and the circle um, is actually going to be uh, big A little a here so we're going to test this out and see how it results uh, you can see big A little a and that gives you this option and so what this tells you is that uh, this can be the option because you obviously have one who's affected one who's not that's 50 percent although the percentages don't have to match up exactly um, but also when you crossed big A, big A, this is really what you want to do is try to figure out the impossibilities. It cannot be big A, big A, because anytime you take two homozygous of the opposite, um, you know, homozygous recessive, homozygous dominant, it's going to result, sorry, it's going to result in heterozygous uh, in every literal, uh, wow, why the fuck did I do that? Uh, it's going to be heterozygous for every cross. So this you can see here is impossible. So you can rule this out. This is your only other option here. You've already chosen autosomal recessive. If you fucked up the other part, then you know you screwed it up. So the answer here, of course, is big A little A because big A big A is an impossibility because that would mean that everybody would be not affected because it's autosomal recessive and every every result would be dominant. Um, then you say, okay, what's the genotype of one two? Now, I think we actually already figured that out, but, um, you know, when it comes to 1, 2, um, I, you know, I think it's got to be AA, and, uh, you know, the reason why it has to be AA is, you know, let, obviously, if they're both big A, you know, if they're both big A parents, how the hell are they going to have an autosomal recessive disorder, any of the children? It's not, it's impossible, um, and so what that means is, you know, what that right there tells you is uh, that's impossible. It's an impossibility. Then you take big A, little a, and big A, uh, big A, you know, this same thing. It's all going to be dominant once again. Um, so that's what you have there. That's obviously another impossibility. Uh, and then you can try big A, little a, big A, little a, and that's literally the only option because that gives you an option for, okay, it can be recessive, it can be dominant, that's what you get there. Um, so that means the only possibility is big A, little a, because we know it's autosomal recessive, and they're unaffected, so they have to be dominant. They Neither of them can be big A, big A, um, because both of them have to be dominant. So the only option here is big A, little a. It's literally the only option here. So that is the answer to this one. So hopefully that helped you out. If you have any questions, definitely comment down below.